Hey guys, how's it going? It's been a while since I've seen you guys. So, I am currently making a video today because I have a video, one of my earlier videos. It currently has hit 7.5k views on the How to Join a Minecraft Alpha Server 2016. Now I think this is insane. I never thought I'd hit a thousand views on any of my videos and I appreciate every single one of you guys for even watching the video. So t today instead of showing you on how to join a Minecraft server, because that server is long gone, I'm going to show you guys how to create a Minecraft server. If you guys are watching the people who made the Nostalgia Project, I appreciate it for making that server. Um, and if it's still up, put it in the comments below telling me it's still up. Anyways, so what you'll need to be doing is down in the description, there's going to be a download link. You'll download my zip file uh, at my Google Drive. Once you download it, you'll see here I have the zip file right here. Already downloaded. Move it over. You'll see you'll get three files. You get your, you'll get a .minecraft folder. You'll be getting a Minecraft Alpha.exe. It's the current name of it. it. doesn't have to be alpha. And the Minecraft version changer, mvc.jar. Now, once you have these three files downloaded, you'll need to make sure you had Minecraft already ran. If you don't, then we'll see. You double click on Minecraft version changer. It will say Minecraft version changer is no longer being updated. You can still use it, but we recommend using the new Minecraft launcher instead because the current Minecraft launcher allows you to go back all the way back to the classic era of Minecraft, back to pretty much the first build back in 2009. But we're using this to download server jars, but not the actual Minecraft jars. But anyways, let's go ahead and click OK on this. So if you don't have the current Minecraft version installed, this will say Minecraft was not found. Please install Minecraft and try again. So we'll have to head over and install that. So once you have your Minecraft downloaded correctly, the latest version of Minecraft, then you want to go ahead and head over to your percent sign app data percent sign or your roaming folder. You can do this two different ways. Well, three different ways if you want to think about that. When you open up your little thing, you should see probably your desktop or your documents or wherever it automatically goes to. What you want to do is you want to type in up here where it says this PC or just up in this address bar, backspace out of that, hit percent sign, app data, percent sign, and hit enter. This will immediately put you into your roaming folder. You can also do your Windows key and R, open up the run command. You already see down here that I've got my app data folder already Select it here, you click OK, boom, and it opens that up too. The third way to do it is a lot more complicated and I don't want to go through it and yeah, we'll just stick with those two methods. Anyways, so what you want to do is you want to move this .minecraft folder somewhere else. No, don't do that, that's an idiot thing. Next, what you want to do is you want to actually head over to this mvc.jar file, the one that you extracted from your zip file, double click on that, It'll say the warning message again, just click OK, and magically you get this menu. This allows you to select a version, and it goes from alpha 1.0.11 all the way down to the 1.6.2 uh, release of Minecraft. It also includes like pre-builds, Minecraft 2.0 blue, oh, this is interesting. I'll have to check that out later. Uh, gives you snapshots, pre-releases, betas, and alphas. So, what we want to do is you want to select what version of Minecraft you want to run your server on. Now, naturally, from my old one, we're going to go Minecraft Alpha version 1.2.6. So, we want to click on Download Server. Instead of click Change, you want to click Download Server. Click Download. And it says the server client successfully downloaded for alpha 1.2.6 and placed at, and it'll tell you where it placed, which is on our desktop. So now we have a new jar file on our desktop called Minecraft underscore server. This is important. Next, you want to actually double click here and open up this dot Minecraft folder on your desktop, the one you extracted from the zip file right over here. Once you've done that, 
open up your bin folder and these things are important. So this Minecraft.jar and Minecraft.json are the important files you want to worry about. So whatever version of Minecraft you want to run, if it's Minecraft Alpha, Minecraft Beta, whatever version, you want to go into your Minecraft launcher like normal, double click on it. You want to click on installations, click on new, find a version, you know, you don't have to name it anything you want. Any, uh, we'll click cancel. You want to actually check this historical button here. And snapshots, if you want snapshots, if you want to run a server over a snapshot. Uh, but most people are going to probably hit the historical button, so you want to click on that. Now click new, and you go to the versions. Bel below release, you're going to see old alpha and old beta. Select which version you want, which today we're going to do 1.2.6. Click create and it'll create an unnamed installation, which is alpha 1.2.6. Click on this, and it should select the one you have, click play. This will download the Minecraft alpha.jar file, as well as all the necessary files to get Minecraft alpha to work, as if you were playing it in single player on your machine. As you see, it says Minecraft alpha 1.2.6. Close that by that, we won't need that anymore. Now, the reason why we have to use a new launcher instead of an old launcher is because the new launchers will set your username to like player 126 or something and will actually automatically kick you out of a server by default. I don't know if it's somewhere hidden in the coding or whatever, but it does that. So you need to have the old launcher to be able to play because you can, if we double click here, here's what the old launcher looked like back on beta and you see it's no longer being updated as the last update was 1.11 whenever you have your players join your server you will have them select a username that they're choosing and their password field will be blank when you click on login it will say can't connect to minecraft.net if they follow this video you would be able to click on play offline currently it says it's not downloaded because it's completely different on how the .minecraft folder works but if it worked properly, you would be able to click play offline, join the server, and it would, everything would be fine. Their username would show up. It's just their skin won't. Anyways, let's exit out of that. Now let's go ahead and continue to the part where you will be able to move over your .minecraft folder. So let's move that over real quick. Select your .minecraft folder, open that up. Go into your current .minecraft folder, the new one, you want to go into the dot minecraft you want to go to versions and you want to select a 1.2.6 double click that and you'll see you have two different files they're very important a 12.1 oh my god a 1.2.6.jar and a 1.2.6.json go to the current one the one the your dot minecraft that you've downloaded this might be getting a little confusing just let me know Go to the bin folder, and then you'll see we have your minecraft.jar, minecraft.json. Delete these, and you want to either copy or move over these files. Next, you want to rename both of these to just minecraft with no spaces and no uppercase lettering, just all lowercase minecraft. This will, this will now trick the alpha launcher to launch whatever version that .jar file will work because without those names, the, it will just gray out uh, play offline because it will say it's not downloaded. All right, you can back out completely back to your roaming folder and we need to now move this somewhere because we will want to have this back. So usually I'll create a new folder. doesn't matter what the folder name is and move it into that folder. As you'll see now, your new .minecraft folder is here. Because if we move this onto the desktop, it will want to automatically merge that folder with this folder, which, you know, not good at all. So now we're good to move this folder into here, your roaming. This is where this launcher will look for this. So go ahead and move it into your roaming. And now you'll see it's down here. If you did this right, you double click on Minecraft Alpha, type in a username, click login. Now you'll see play offline is now not grayed out. You click on that, 
And look at that, we're currently playing Minecraft Alpha 1.2.6. Now that's how to get the launcher to work so that you can play on your own server. Now, to get the server to work, we'll need to create a new folder. You can name it whatever you want for this tutorial. I named it just Minecraft server. Your current Minecraft underscore server dot jar uh, file that we created using the MVC dot jar, move that over into the new folder. After you moved it over, just double click on it to run it. And it's gonna start generating a bunch of files. Once it's done, you can either exit out or click or type in stop in the console. This will stop the server and close it out. Now, once you've closed it out, you wanna head over to server.properties. If you do not see this symbol here, this is a notepad symbol, if it's just a white symbol, right click on it, click on open with, and then select notepad. You might have to select more apps to do that. This will open up the server.properties uh, file, which will allow you to edit everything you need. Level name is up to you. When you delete the folder, it'll create a new folder with this name and that'll be the name's uh, level's name. Hell world is if you wanna create a hell world for your overworld. Just like, you know, the nether, except it's just, it's not the nether, it's just different. Spawn monsters, true, will allow monsters to spawn at all, basically peaceful mode. Online mode, this is important. You need to make sure online mode is set to false. If you set it to true, that means anybody going into your server will not be able to access the server because they're technically playing in offline mode already. Spawn animals, it's all the peaceful mobs, you can have them there. Max players, set the amount of players. Server IP, you need to make sure this is absolutely not there. If it doesn't, it'll give you an error saying their server port is not forwarded. PVP, set that to true or false, depending if you want PVP. And server port is the port number that you set it into your router's configuration to whether or not you, uh, to whatever number you have. So make sure that if you don't have a, make sure you have an open port at this port, or if you don't, make sure you change this port in your server properties fold file so that it corresponds to the port access number. And we can talk about ports all day. Essentially, I am not gonna be able to tutorial, show you a tutorial on how to correctly port forward because it's a private network and I don't want anybody to gain access to my private network, even though they can look up where this video came from and see my IP address and all that stuff. So anyways, once you have everything set, just click File, Save. The file is saved. Close out of that. Usually what I would do is just delete the world because it generated without me being there. And then run it again. This will run the server again and run the mode to generate a new world. Now it's gonna give you a warning in the console saying the server is running offline in secure mode. This will make no attempt to authenticate, authenticate usernames. This is important because it, you, it, you don't want it to authenticate the usernames. Well now the server is running so now we'll open up your mic. So now we're going to test the server. Type in your username. Click login, no password required. Click play offline. Click multiplayer. And then from your multiplayer address, make sure you set it to local host. You can also set it to your current IP address plus your port. Now connected as well. But if you are just trying to edit your server and trying to get in there to play with your friends, just type in local host. It's a lot faster. You click login. You currently now logged into a Minecraft server. And now you can edit things. By default, some things like this, which I'll actually maximize this for you. Some things like spawn will not allow you to edit things. So you may think, oh no, the server's lagging. What are you doing, Captain? It's lagging. But to be sure of you, it's not lagging, it's doing perfectly fine. This also depends on the computer you are currently running uh, the game on and the server at the same time. Minecraft Alpha doesn't actually use a lot of resources, so you can run it on your same machine with like five other people, so it works out very well. After that, you can click stop, or you can click on the exit button, that will stop the server, or you can click stop, and it will close out the server. 
Now, a lot of things need to be aligned perfectly for you. You need to make sure that your server is ported correctly. You need to make sure you go into router's configuration and make sure that you are able to access the, uh, it should be like a gaming section in your router. Just go into the uh, port access and type in, you know, what port, what IP address is your computer, which we'll type in CMD right now. You open, type in CMD, just type in IP config and scroll up until you see Ethernet adapter, Ethernet or your Wi-Fi uh, adapter. Type this number into your address in like Firefox or Chrome. Uh, this is your current IP address on your computer. Make sure you type that up in your uh, computer when you're doing your port forwarding. Um, and then type in the port twice and then you should be good. You should be able to, you should be port forwarded and ready to go. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate everybody from watching my videos and really enjoying them. Um, if you want me to make another follow-up video on how to successfully join a Minecraft server, um, I will be creating my own Minecraft alpha server. I don't know if it's going to be alpha. I don't know if it's going to be beta still, so I'm still deciding on that. Uh, leave your comments down below. Make sure you follow me, uh, subscribe to me, like my video. Um, if you do subscribe, hit the bell icon so you get more updates on my videos. I am going to definitely upload more often. Um, I am streaming too, just twitch.tv slash captain underscore killers nine, because uh, captain underscore killers was already taken apparently. Uh, other than that, thank you for watching, and everybody, you have a good day.